I thought I wanted to share the four stages of friendship. And personally, to me, when I first saw these four stages of friendship on the internet, it gradually made me wonder that I should have known the basics of friendship during my childhood and teen years living with autism and mild intellectual disability. The stages of friendship which I'm about to define are as follows. Acquaintance, peer friend, close friend, and best friend. Disclaimer. These are from a research article entitled How to Make the Friends You've Always Wanted and Not Lose the Ones You Already Have. Written by Arthur Pete Carfargio. And warning, these should go for me and all people with developmental and intellectual disabilities. 1. Acquaintance All friendships initially start as an acquaintance. This is someone with whom you share and know public information or facts about. You may interact with them, but don't consider them to be your friend. It takes just a few times seeing someone to consider them an acquaintance, but that person may or may not move past this stage in your association with them. 2. Peer Friend This is someone with whom you discover common interests, activities, and concerns. You may even learn a little about each other's goals, wishes, or opinions. It takes some time to develop the status of a peer because it implies that you have encountered the person on numerous occasions and have some type of involvement with them. As you discover who does and does not share your values and goals, it's natural for fewer people to progress past this stage. 3. Close friend A close friend is someone you would consider part of your inner circle and with whom you share some similar life goals and values. These are people who know the most about your life and have likely been through a few ups and downs with you. Close friends are generally those you see and talk to the most often. And finally, best friend. A best friend is someone with whom you have built up a strong level of trust and could share almost everything. The development of a best friend relationship takes time and experience together. It cannot happen overnight. It implies a commitment to support one another and requires honesty, loyalty, and discretion from both parties. I may have not thought about these things of making friends during my past younger days, but now that I am an adult on my own, I have been greatly more intentional. The same would go for you too. Hopefully this video will help you have social success in your life. I am telling you that you are not alone and have been having difficulties and complications making friends because I have been through that journey for so long. We should all know that not all changes happen overnight. Gradually during my life, I have been trying to learn how to make friendships and it often took time effort, patience, and practice. 
I believe that the stages of friendship gradually made a difference to make my social life better than ever before. In the long run, as time pass on, these steps of making friends will make long-lasting healthy relationships and friendships. I believe that these stages of friendship will help me better and improve my social life. And I believe they would do the same for yours as well, especially living with any developmental and intellectual disabilities.